Hey, you got time for a beer? I know I do. My name's Jake. Welcome to my show. It's Thursday, which means I've got a new brew for you, or at least new to me. This one's been around for a bit. I've seen it before. Don't forget, you can find me on Untapped YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram, all at TubaJake underscore 69. Uh, tell me your stories. I like to hear them. Hopefully you do too, because I'm going to tell you some. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so that other people get to see all of this fun stuff that I'm putting out here. The beer that I've got for you today is the shorts, Wool Huma. Um, it's a low carb, low cal IPA, 4.5% ABV. Um, it should be good. That I, I know the Huma is pretty good. So I'm expecting this one to be at least that good, right? Hopefully. Put that guy down there. And then get it started. All right. So, um, I've been meaning to have this one for a while. Ooh. I really wanted to get out. Um, but I haven't had a chance. Because I thought that I had it already. And when I first had the Huma, I was like, wow, that is so super happy. I don't know if I'm a huge fan. So I, I wasn't sure. And I'm still not sure because I, I really actually haven't had this one yet. This one is pretty new to me. Um, I, I got it and it was not cold when I brought it home. So I did not sneak one on you guys. I have actually never had this before. But it's my shorts which is amazing, the shortest month of the year. That's this one, right? right? Yeah, February, shortest month of the year. Uh, the shortest month of the year is what I've been hearing down at Horrocks all month. Um, apparently they're they're tapping a new keg, something shorts exclu or a Horrocks exclusive down there tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna try to make my way down. I tried to do that last week, but the weather did not cooperate whatsoever. So I did not go. Um, but this week, it should be good. The weather is past us, hopefully. We'll find out, though, right? Um, so it's a it's an IPA. Should be um, almost amber, which, yeah, pretty close. Um, it's lighter, so you expect it to be a little bit lighter, maybe. Um, but that's about the color. Maybe a little bit thicker, so far as that goes, from the... Uh, from the Yuma, if I remember correctly. It's been years since I've had a Yuma. Um, but it's supposed to be happy and delicious and light. I like light. Light is nice. Um, let's see. Let's see what we got. It smells piney, which is great because, I mean, it's, it's an IPA. It should smell piney, right? Um, malty which also amazing it should smell malty because should taste malty uh you got good lacing on it which is nice uh the head is thick and firm which it should be almost marshmallow like which i like head it's fun it is thick and piney Trying to see if there's any other flavors to describe this as besides piney. I mean, because usually with these, you're like, oh, it's grapefruity or it's um, other kind of terrapins. But what I've got is pine. It, it, it tastes like I'm chewing on a white pine stick. Not not red pine, not red pine. It's not that resinous, um, but white pine, yeah, kind of tastes like that. Am I saying that that's that that's bad? No, not at all. It's actually a little bit watery, which, with it being a smaller version of a different IPA, I mean, watery is not terribly surprising, but I don't mind that it tastes good still um does this remind me of another beer uh, sure it does it reminds me of 
the lighthearted. It reminds me of the all day IPA. This is a very good low calorie, low carb, low, I don't know, low ABV beer. It, it tastes good and you could drink this a lot like you would a normal beer. Um, if I remember correctly, um, you got the Humo Humongous, which is like way bigger than this. Like a ten, it's like double Imperial. And then the, the regular Huma is like an Imperial. So it's like seven, eight, right around in there. So the double is going to be around 10 or so, which is have super heavy. I think I've got one of those upstairs if I remember correctly, but it's been a while since I've looked at it. So I don't know for sure. Um, but this one, this one's good. I, I could drink a bunch of these. Um, and thankfully, I've still got five more upstairs. So when I go out and play disc golf, I can drink more of these. It'll be great. See them in my stories. Um, does this remind me of a story? Um, I mean, it's mostly the pine that reminds me of anything. Um, reminds me of my first year working at summer camp. I got to stand in front of the camp and tell people which way to go. Like, oh, you're, you've got handicap. You should come this way. Um, oh, you're not, you should go that way. Cause we can't have everybody coming up to the dining hall. Even if you don't feel like you can walk that far. If you got a handicap sticker, no problem. Go up there. But if you don't, you should be walking because there's going to be a lot of people here. If everybody parks up there, nobody can get through. So pretty much I just stood around and because most people knew where they were going because everybody knows where they're going at summer camp, ask them. Um, <laughs> uh, but I just kind of stood there and tore apart, tore apart pine needles for like three hours. It was super boring. Look at the lacing on that. That's nice. Delicious. Um, let's see, I had another one too. Reminds me of disc golfing in the up north, because usually there's a bunch of, of trees and stuff. Actually, this, it, it reminds me of a funny story, because I've got friends that are from up by Traverse City, which is close to Bel Air or wherever it is. Bel wherever it is they say that they're brewing this. If it's not Elk Rapids, it's close to there. Traverse City, Elk Rapids. They're, they're like the same thing. <laughs> As my, my friend says, who's, he's from Greenville, but like Detroit is anywhere south of Flint and east of Jackson. So he doesn't live in, he doesn't live in Detroit now, but he lives in Jackson. He is very close. It's like living in Ypsilanti for, for him. For real. Let's be real here. Um, so anyway, uh, different friend. Different friend. We're talking about disc golf. Um, playing disc golf with a different friend. Um, I've got really cool friends, by the way. Uh, they know a big, big bunch of different people. Like Dave, my friend from, from Traverse City, um, while we were going to school, he knew the drum major at um, at Eastern and the drum major at Northwestern because they had gone to his high school. Um, Dave was not that. He's just really super cool. So anyway, his, uh, his one friend, uh, the, the drum major from Eastern, uh, they were playing disc golf one time and Dave figured that he would share this because it's a very funny. His friend made a really good shot, and Dave was like, wow, you're really good at this. To which his friend replied, yeah, so good, I could go pro and make hundreds of dollars a year on the pro disc golf tour. Which, I mean, pro disc golfers wouldn't think that's funny, but um, people that play disc golf would think that's funny. Because, I mean, seriously, you're going to make money playing disc golf? You're going to make thousands of dollars a year playing disc golf? Really? You have to be really good to make thousands of dollars a year to play disc golf. Really good. Um, most people, even if they are actually good, will not do that. 
on this friend while well, he's a pretty decent athlete um i mean because you kind of have to be for real actually to to do the drum major things um and he actually might have actually been good enough to go pro and make hundreds of dollars a year playing disc golf. But, I mean, why? When you can be a band teacher and make thousands of dollars a year and still play disc golf. It's good stuff. So anyway, I've got a quote for you. This one's from Andy Warhol. Uh, he's an artist, in case you don't know. Lots of tomato soup cans, if you will. Uh, he says, they always say chi time changes things, but you actually have to change them yourself. Time will change things. Things will be different later, but you yourself are the one that's making those changes. So don't forget that. Make the change that you want to, that you want to see. Um, don't forget, you can find me at tubajake underscore 69 at untap YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Tell me your stories. I like to hear them. Hopefully you do too, because I'm going to keep telling them. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so that you get to hear these things. And if more people get to hear them, then that's better for me. So please help me out. Um, anyway, um, I'll see you next time when you got time for a beer.